When experts consider classical ballet in America, they consider first the New York City Ballet and its co-founder, choreographer, and guiding spirit, George Balanchine. For this program, recorded on videotape, Mr. Balanchine's of his company form as well as introduce four Balanchine pas de deux. These informal pictures were recorded as Mr. Balanchine and his watched a playback of the performance. On the same occasion, Mr. Balanchine discussed his relationship to his dancers, as well as his philosophy of dance. I believe in the moment. I believe in that moment. I believe what I see. I choose my friends to work with, because I enjoy to look. I care about this business. See, to me, the importance of the dance is the person actually in front of your eyes. Choreographer doesn't exist. He suggests to a trained dancer. The result is what? You look at one or two people, well trained, beautiful bodies that move in time. What do you see? You see a person doing it. This particular person, this particular leg is lifted or neck is bent, you know, or a face, or whatever it is, this person, not the other one. Ballet belongs to a, a dancer that is now, at this moment, in front of you. One of Balanchine's qualities is his ability to lend classical ballet a contemporary flavor. He often achieves this by collaborating with a contemporary composer such as Igor Stravinsky. Together, they created the ballet Aegon, Introducing the pas de deux from Aegon, Arthur Mitchell. Studying the ballet, particularly in the pas de deux, it's like seeing live sculpture come before you. You see the dancers go from one fantastic pose to the other, but you don't know how they get there. And you see this beautiful image before you, and then slowly it evolves. You don't know what's going to happen next, and next thing you know, they're in another piece of this fantastic-looking instrument which resembles live sculpture.
As a choreographer, George Balanchine demands a great deal from his dancers. Ability, technique, virtuosity. Excelling in these qualities is one of Balanchine's leading male dancers, Edward Villella. Villella discusses his role in the ballet Tarantella. I think there are basically two things that inspire Mr. Balanchine when he's, uh, he has a ballet in mind. Uh, one, naturally, is the music. Uh, that's the important source. That's where the basis, the foundation is. Uh, the second would be the dancer or dancers. Mr. Balanchine, as no other choreographer in the world, knows his dancers and he knows their particular styles and he knows how to suit a ballet or suit uh, material to a given style for a given dancer. In particular, Tarantella is ideally suited, I feel, to Patricia McBride and myself because we have bravura techniques. We have uh, the ability to move quickly. We have the ability to do lots of steps over uh, very quick music. We have a uh, joie de vivre, so to speak, on, on stage. We have that kind of stage personality.
If tarantella is a dance of style and technique, meditation is a dance of mood. In meditation, Balanchine uses the music of Tchaikovsky to create a dramatic situation. Jacques D'Amboise gives this interpretation of his role. Meditation is romantic, ultra-romantic, and very interesting to me. I, I, I think it's very Russian, actually. I think it's a uh, wonderful uh, pleasure in sorrow that, that sometimes people have. And I think Russians like very much to savor things that are sad because they like to be sometimes sad and to taste it, how wonderful it is. And I think Mr. Valentin's tasting a little sorrow there. I, I find not it interesting. Sometimes there's a pleasure in it, I think. No. Yeah, I think it's so. It's not a I pleasure know. at all.
One of the things about Mr. Balanchine is his range, his ability to create all kinds of ballet. Now, Meditations is a dramatic ballet, but then he can use the same composer Tchaikovsky and make an altogether different kind of a ballet. His Tchaikovsky pas de deux. Now, if you're a good classical dancer, it's a chance to show your stuff. It's pure movement. The way it affects an audience is that the dancers do wonderful things so easily and, and beautifully that they become almost not human, a little godlike. I believe in that moment, I believe what I see. I choose my friends to work with because I enjoy to look at this particular people. I care about this people. You see, to me, the importance of the dance is the person actually in front of your eyes. You see, that's what I think, and lots of people don't disagree with me. They all want to preserve. You see, and I disagree with them, you see. I don't want to preserve. I am, I am very selfish, you see. I'm having it now. I'm having it and eating it, my own cake. This is NET, the National Educational Television Network. 